Hello folks, Tiso here to talk about the main event in version 3.3. And this one's a pretty fun one. To play, you need to be adventure rank 30 and complete some of Inazuma's quest. Some of this event can be done with a friend in co-op mode as well. And you will need to go to Inazuma to talk to some characters and do some cutscene stuff before you can play the game. The rewards include a precious crown as well as refinement materials for the new weapon. There's also a bunch of other essential materials. And the new weapon here is fit for Kazuha. It gives a lot of elemental mastery, but if you already happen to have an iron sting that's very high level, then do not bother leveling this up since these two are about equal in strength and you don't want to waste all that extra mora just for a side grade. In addition to the materials, we can get at least 900 primo gems from all the rewards. To get the primo gems, you need to play the stages on both leisure and unending refinement, but they're both pretty easy. At the beginning, you have to play the leisure mode before you can unlock the higher difficulty, and you can choose some buffs. Just start with the default one since you don't have a choice at the beginning, but my favorite three buffs is the first one and the last two because they give the most offense. And when picking a team, have a character from each of the four main elements. Those elements can react with their cubes on the field, but Geo and Anemo do not do any reactions, and if you hit a block with the same element like Electro here, it doesn't do anything either. In the first stage, I like using Cryo the most since it makes Superconduct, which adds a piercing effect to your balls. This lets you clear the stage a lot faster. You can swap the elements whenever you want as well. This is a good chance to try out the different elements to see what you like. But I do think the first level is a bit too boring and slow. The later levels are more fun since there's a lot more explosions going on. Alright, now that we completed easy mode, let's play the actual game. You need to get at least 4500 points to get all the rewards, but that's very easy to do. I got 10,000 points on my first try. So as I mentioned before, you can pick 3 buffs now, and I recommend the first and last two because they give the most destructive power. And then choose one of each element on your team. At the beginning of this stage, I start with Cryo so I can freeze all the Hydro Cubes and blow them all up at once. Once they're frozen, I switch to Electro to do some piercing damage and end the first stage. And I tend to switch between Cryo and Electro here, but you can choose Pyro as well. The difference with this mode and Leisure mode is the time limit. In this mode, we play for 2.5 minutes, so you have to keep going until time's up, or until you run out of your 10 balls. The levels will keep looping after you clear them, and all you need is 4500 points to get all the rewards. By 2.5 minutes, I got over 10,000 points here, so it's pretty easy to get.
and then after playing these two levels, you can finally fight the boss, which happens to be disappointingly easy. So here's the boss here. I start with Pyro to do some extra AoE damage and blow up all the cubes surrounding it. And another thing you can see here, a lot of the cubes move around when you move around, including the ones around the boss. So if you really want to be tactical, you can try to move the cubes guarding the boss away in order to hit the boss more. Anyway, that's the guy for the first part of the main event. This is another nice change of pace, and I'm liking the direction Genshin is going. Like and subscribe if these videos are helpful, and you can join my Discord to chat with some friendly folks or enter some giveaways. And as always, have fun out there, traveler.